things that we do when we're grown-ups are all dependent on the kinds of childhood we had. Born and raised in San Diego, Al Ballard fondly recalls his childhood years. I had a really great mom and a really great dad. And, uh, you know, my dad was honest in everything that he did. And, and, uh, and the business that he was in, he had really good friends that worked for him and, and took care of those people. And, and uh, that was a really great experience. And he just helped them and, and cared about them. And, and uh, those people were close to him his whole life. With a towering reputation for excellence and fairness, Al quickly added some of the country's largest developments to his impressive repertoire, including the magnificent Ocean Plaza. You know, I had some different projects that I did and, and uh, mostly subdivisions. Uh, so I had, you know, local Bahamian partners as partners, and then we had local uh, the guys that did our sewer work were all local contractors. The guys that did our roads were all local contractors. And then they had local contractors that would build the houses for them. They got financing from the local banks, and it was just a really nice thing. And it makes you feel good when you can uh, do things and you make a living uh, doing things that provide jobs for other people and provide a product for other people. It all comes together, creating a win-win situation. Bahamian tradesmen and workers gainfully employed, united in the spirit of camaraderie. New skills are learned, old skills honed, and relationships cemented. Projects experience a faster turnaround, and brick by brick, bigger developments take their place on the nation's horizon. I think that Mr. Ballard has he's done a whole lot for the Bahamian community. I mean, in having subcontractors, having workers that are actually Bahamian, you know, trying to, to utilize our Bahamian people and, and our potential that we have and just giving Bahamian people a chance to, you know, show their skills. And here on the job site, we appreciate Mr. Ballard for that. Mr. Ballard, he, uh, in, the, in the midst of uh, economic crisis, he took a risk and he took a chance to invest into the Bahamas. And most sites around this time, they normally will uh, close down. But through it all, he, uh, he continued to, uh, to keep Bahamians employed. And right now at present, uh, uh, we are now uh, about 80% run, Bahamianly run company. And uh, we want to thank Mr. Ballard for having that faith in the Bahamian people and in the Bahamian population, tradesmen, to, to take a risk. You know, uh, a lot of times uh, it's not about uh, the return but it's about putting food on someone's table, you know, because if he was interested in the return, he would have hold back and cut down, you know, but he is more interested in putting food on, on someone's table. And so many, many families are being fed by this project. In the true sense of the word, Al took what his parents taught about family and found family right here in these islands. Today, he continues to push the bar and challenge others to grow. We need to learn excellence. And that's not something we're born with. This is something that we need to do the right thing and to have the right attitude and go out there and do that job better than anybody. If we're working for a dollar an hour, we should go out there and do that job like, like we're being paid $100 an hour. And if we do that, then pretty soon somebody's gonna recognize that, hey, we're doing $100 worth of work an hour and they're gonna pay us $100. If we say, well, I'm not getting paid enough and I'm just gonna do a mediocre job, and we're going to get mediocre pay our whole life, and we're going to get mediocre rewards. Through his personal mentorship program, Al shares business insights and motivates the youth to reach for the stars. Continuing in the tradition started by his own father, he considers it a privilege to make a deposit into their young lives. Uh, well, what I'll go from here, we're going to take $3 million from that project that we're doing over here, and we're going to do some things uh, some incentive things for some of the teachers that excel and do really great things. And then we're going to do some mentor programs. You have some incredible success stories here in the Bahamas that uh, people that have that uh, started out with nothing, that by doing, following good principles that have become successful. And those people need to be put together where they can uh, tell, tell Bahamians, they can present those stories, those positive things, and tell Bahamians and, and everybody that you can do anything you set your mind to do.